Colleagues, last week I, uh, I made a statement after the revenue forecast was issued where the state economist pointed out that even after we account for the kicker, uh, there will be additional revenues available for the state to invest in this biennium. And I called for that money to be dedicated to K-12. And I just wanted to shed some light on why, because in my statement, I, you know, I was not at all trying to play politics with this issue, but to simply shine the light on a real situation that exists all across our state. Um, school districts throughout Oregon right now are finalizing their budgets for the next year. And they're having to build their budgets on either the co-chairs, K-12 numbers, or they are building their budgets on the governor's budget. Either way, due to the severe cost drivers that they are experiencing from PERS rate increases to the rising cost of health care premiums, most districts are going to be forced to either reduce programs or to lay off personnel in order to balance their budgets for the next academic year. Tomorrow night, I'll be journeying back to Hood River for a school board meeting, and one of the items on the agenda for our board to adopt is the engagement in reduction of force. And I know I'm not alone. We have other board members in this, in this chamber as well, but we have to do this as a school board if there is an opportunity or a chance that we may be reducing our employees within a certain time, within 45 days reduction in force, we have to give our employees notice. And I say that because obviously this creates consternation, it creates insecurity, it creates all kinds of anxiety on the part of school district employees about who is it that's gonna get the pink slip. My point is that if we could just simply say out of those nearly $200 million that we deemed was available last week, if we could just allocate that to K-12, and just say, look, there's a down payment on what we hope we're gonna be able to get you this session. That would go a long ways towards alleviating the numbers of potential pink slips that are gonna have to start going out to school district employees in the very near future. I would point out one other thing, colleagues. You'll remember back in the 2015 session when, again, we had an increase in the May revenue forecast. And at that point in time, the co-chairs dedicated a significant portion of that new revenue to K-12 because they wanted to give assurances to school boards that there would be additional support coming. We did that two years ago. We can do that again. So with that, Madam Speaker and colleagues, I'll leave you with that. But I just want to say every action or inaction we take in this building does, in fact, have real consequences out there. And there are some dedicated, talented school district employees that are just looking for a little more encouragement and a little more help. And we can do this. So thank you, Madam Speaker.